Okay, let me see if I can find Rita again. She sent me a note and said she's ready. Come on, Rita. We got about 25 minutes left. Did we Rita. finally get it? Oh, did we finally get it? We're here, Rita. Uh, <laughs> let me wipe my screen. How are you? Your screen is good. I want to see your beautiful face. How are we doing? We're doing good. Are, can you hear me okay? Because I have my fan going on over here. I can it's see hot. You're totally fine. So I want to know where are you and what do you do? Okay, great. Well, I am in Oakland, California with those California fires up here. Um, yeah, probably this, this, the smoky uh, air is what's uh, going through me. Power off? Yeah, exactly. That's probably what maybe I couldn't come through with. No, they didn't. I'm in Oakland. I'm about maybe 45 minutes away from the fires. Okay, what do you do? Yeah, so I have two businesses. My my main business is still going, except um, we have about half of the clients. I'm kind of like the first business, maybe the second business that got on. I remember his name. It was J.W. Picker. Um, so we are a marketing agency, and our main focus is merchandising apparel. Um, so we uh, farm out to um, our production to get our screen printing and embroidery done for, you know, kind of the same amount of, or same type of clients, nonprofits, small businesses, and brands and artists. Um, I was a DJ back in the day, so I was a DJ for 10 years. Exactly, I still got it. Okay, good. Um, and so I still have a lot of ties to the music and entertainment business, so those are some of our clients as well, too. Um, and again, okay, just, I, have an uh, I really, for you. okay. I have a business opportunity. I'm so ready for that. Okay, no, but this is really cool, though. Okay. Are you going to tell me now, or do I have to email you? No, I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. So on September 15th, I'm launching a virtual concert series with a bunch of big acts for my customers in my businesses. And we'll be streaming it on live. It's called the Camping World Concert Series. And we have people like Alabama, Martina McBride, Lots of cool artists from around the country. Yes. And we developed a logo, but we don't have any apparel for the concert series. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. We'll print you up. We'll get you guys all set up. Um, I have a few production facilities out here in the Bay Area that I, I work with, so depending design, on what you need. I want you to design something cool and different that ties in yep. outdoors and camping and concerts. We have an in-house graphic designer that we work with. Do check us out. The OliveStreetAgency.com is the website. Okay. Um, and, and we can we can work on it and, and put it out. That would so be what awesome. Is the name, so what is the name of the business? The name of the business is the OliveStreetAgency.com. So, okay, so I'm, just I'm like gonna give you a, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a twenty thousand dollar order. A twenty thousand dollar order. Are you kidding me? No, but I better get a good damn deal. I'm telling you right now. Yes, you. <laughs> Let's go. Let's What's go, the Marcus. Second business that you have. Um. So the second business is pretty much laying dormant right now. Um. It's a women's basketball business. Um. So I used to play basketball back in college. Play sports. Wait a minute. You um, play basketball and you're a DJ. I, I'm only telling my truths here, Marcus. Okay. <laughs> um, and so it's always been a love of mine, but this is what I always say when I'm telling people about the business. The business is called Women's All B-Ball. And I tell people to imagine this. Close your eyes, don't close your eyes. When you're going down the street and you're passing a park with a basketball court, how many women do you see playing? Not enough. That is exactly why we exist, right? So... After the age of 21, even though there's Title IX, even though there, there's those things in place, even though there's the WNBA, we all know that there is just a less opportunity for women to play basketball and play the sport that they love recreationally. So we created um, programs under this business so women can play basketball after the age of 21 here in the Bay Area. We've touched over like 2,500 women out here. Is it a league? Um, is it a league? 
Yes, a league playing in Oakland and in um, San Francisco. But of course, with COVID, it shut all that down. We don't do have people, bubble money. Do people call you DJ Baller or no? <laughs> we'll talk about my DJ name another time. No, I want to know what it is. Do I have to say that in yeah, front of everybody? Everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to know right now what it is. All right. Everybody go look me up. My DJ name prior to 2011, okay, in the college years. My DJ name was DJ Backside. Okay, I like that. And so what's <laughs> happening with the league right now? Yeah, so the league right now, we've pretty much stopped all business. We keep in touch with our players here and there. We actually did a crowdfunding campaign last year with ifundwomen.com, um, and we were able to get to half of our budget, but we were supposed to throw a tournament in the fall. Uh, we pretty much uh, survive off of throwing pickup games on, um, Sunday, on Sunday mornings on the weekends or Sunday afternoons. But, you know, we just can't take that risk. Um, and so we want to be safe. So we've kind of put everything off until next year. Can you play yes. with masks? Check this out. We do, ma uh, I'm, I'm getting people masks right now with the merchandising business and everything like that, but not with basketball. It just, it's not the same. I could barely ride my bike with it. What do you think? I, when I go to a gym, I wear it because I, I feel like I have to and it's hard. Yeah, but basketball? All right, so let's do this. We're going to focus on yep. two things. Yes. You're going to email me, marcus at marcuslimonis.com. Absolutely. My teammate, Karen Porter, who uh, is probably rolling her eyes right now because she has to work on this. And we're going, to put, we're going to put shirts in all of our stores. I have a feeling it's going to be way more than 20000 But I just need like a Heather Gray cool t-shirt but i gotta be able to go up to like 3x because i got some you know yes I got, I got people with some size yes and then when we get back into season if you do a good job with this i'll give you some other business but if you do a good I'm job good. we may even be a sponsor of the league if i got a store in vacaville is vacaville far from you um my my family used to live there up near you the nut tree ex. you said your ex I said my family, not my you ex. Said ex. You said ex. No. Okay, listen, will you remember to email me? I will. Can I ask you one question though? Anything Cause, Okay, because I've actually been um, hitting you on Twitter and trying to get your attention, but you don't respond to me. But I, I totally understand. Um, and this is something you that's like this. That. You should keep hitting me. Well, this is why I'm here today. If okay. I, Yes. So this is my question. I think um, I've been on a lot of your lives since we've done COVID. But something else that, of course, that has happened during COVID is the racial uprising and everything going on with that as well. And you, you know, I saw your video with your with your business in Chicago, and that's just right in the heart of it. And so you can go back and kind of search on Twitter. This is exactly what I've been asking you, um, which is, have, are you planning or would you would you like to put together anything to help black owned businesses? Um, because I also think that's a moment that we're in right now that a lot of businesses, small, large, are actually really acknowledging and taking into consideration as they're running their business. And I just haven't seen you um, talk about it or attack it. I even did a Google search. I was like, Marcus Lamone is black owned businesses. Just because I would really love to see you talk about it. You know, so let, I, me, so let me address that in three parts. Okay, go so for first it. First of all, black lives matter, period, end of story. Thank you. Okay, number two, a lot of the work that I do, I don't put it on the street, but I am working with some organizations on the south side of Chicago. It was after the first uh, looting that happened because our store was actually looted twice. And I started working with an organization on the South Side called QCDC with a woman named Rhonda and another project called the Greenwood Project. You can look up both of them, but I don't ever feel a need to put my business on the street when I'm working with organizations. So that's number one. Number two, excuse me. Okay. Number three, I invest in people. And I don't look at people based on their race, their religion, uh, their gender preference or sexuality, any of those things. However, I do find it important because I know my mom, who's not with me, with us anymore, would absolutely be pounding her fist on the table saying, 
I don't care that you don't look, but I'm going to tell you to open your damn eyes right now, and you're going to give people an opportunity who can't get an opportunity otherwise. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I express mm -hmm. to everybody, no matter what race they are, no matter what gender, what religion, to show up and put their A game on display. I'm there. I'm and there. And yeah. So I don't think That's not an issue. Yeah. Everybody else does. I'm reopening my business because I know it's important to make a statement, but I also think it's important to give people an opportunity who otherwise would not be given that opportunity prior, prior to Minnesota. And Minnesota Thank shouldn't you. be that spark. It shouldn't right. be that spark. It should right. be a reminder for those of us that were ignorant to not pay attention. Absolutely. And I think it was that for a lot of people, but much respect for being before, you know, before the spike. Here's I mean, something thing. happened yesterday, right? You know, the, but, but, but yeah. I have to do a better job. And mm -hmm. I can't put that on anybody else. I have to be as a human being, have to do a better job. My wife reminds me all the time and she's tough, real tough. I have to do a better job of thinking about people that otherwise aren't given an opportunity. And so my pledge to you and to everybody else is that I move, as I move forward, I will be more mindful. And when I'm forgetful, I expect people like you to remind me. I'm asking you I'm right say, there. Okay? This is what I live, I live it every day. I, I, this, I live in this skin every day. That's what I'll say. And so I have, you know. And I don't know what that feels like. And so all I right. need to do is, is learn from it. Absolutely. I appreciate you. This is, and I love that you said the people part first. This is why it's, it, it's so important for me to do things like this. Um, I've actually, during this time, and I'll, this, this will be my last thing, is that I've actually applied to a few grants to where I've been able to do a video to show who I am, to tell my story. Like, I can't tell this on a piece of paper. I can't tell it on an application to fill it out. And I think I'm not the only person of color, black owned business that is really like that, that um, really, I mean, I think all businesses have a story, right? Um, but I think there's some less heard than others. And so, I, I really appreciate, you know, opportunities like this. So that's why I kept, I, I just kept saying, I got to get, get in. Thank you so much. You got to get my damn shirts made and they better be. Let's right. go. And let me just say something. I don't know. Are you a good, are you a good ball player? You, are you going to take me? You, are you? No, I didn't say that, but do you allow boys to play or is it just like all girls? Play? Yeah, it's women's all, it's called women's all b-ball. So it's all for women. Okay. Can I be the ref? Yeah, or you could be in the stands and cheer us on. Okay, I'll be in the stands and cheer us on. <laughs> Don't forget to email me. I love your I'm energy. not. I love your optimism. And you keep awesome. it positive, okay? Thank you. I'm so glad that I got it. Thanks, Marcus Lamonis. Game on. You better get my damn shirt ready. Game on. Let's do okay. it. We'll see you. All Talk right. to you soon. Peace. All right, bye. Look, I think for those people who are... Um, confused or nervous or don't know what to say or don't know what to do, the message is very simple, right? For those of us, and I'm not speaking to anybody on this other than myself, so I'm looking in the mirror. For those of us that have not made it at the forefront of our thinking about providing opportunities to other people who haven't been given them, it is the time. But for those people who haven't been given an opportunity and now get that opportunity, it is also your responsibility to show up and put up. And it is not an opportunity for handouts. I'm not a handout guy. I'm a capitalist. I have no problem admitting that. I like to make money, but I also like to take that money and do good things with it. And part of doing that is by providing an opportunity for people that don't necessarily have the avenue or have the path or have the connections. And so we have to do that. You can't make people do it though, folks. And you can't be mad at people who don't do it. It's really about educating and leading by example. And so our commitment uh, for me as an individual, and I know my wife and I feel the same way, and I know that CNBC and The Prophet feel the same way, it is our time to put our money where our mouth is. And I know that we're committed to doing that as a network, as a television show, as a production company, as a business owner, as a parent, uh, I'm not a parent, but as a spouse or whatever it may be, it is our time to do that. Um, and so it is, um, 
Uh, the time is here. And for those people that struggle to say it, Black Lives Matter, it's that simple. It doesn't mean that other people don't matter. But in this moment, it is about that. And it is important to recognize those people. And when I think about the number of businesses that have been on the show, I know that I could have done a better job in finding those minority businesses that uh, were, weren't necessarily given an opportunity. And for those who were given an opportunity, they have demonstrated more often than not a great commitment to their business, to their community, and they have treated me with nothing but respect. It's not a black or brown thing. It's a human thing. And that's where we are today, okay?